That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up? It's kind of bright out here, but it's really not that bright. The sun is going back and forth, but uh, I'm over here doing my thing. I would open the pit and show y'all what's going on, but not a good time to open it, trying to keep my temp steady. Chicken over here, always cook your chicken at a high temperature, 275 or better. If you don't want no skin, you can't back bite through, okay? So, um, I got my chicken rolling on there on two zone cooking. Um, I wish I had two of these, but it's all great. I'm still making it happen. Two zone cooking. You got your coals on one side, water pan on the other side. Being that this is a small cooker, I did soak my wood chunks so that the smoke can smolder throughout the cook instead of starting a big flame. Um, so I can still get the flavor that I want and moving over here. It's my table got my necessities on there uh, That's my trash book. You gotta have some, somewhere to put your trash and here is where the ribs are taking their um, Thing now. I don't want to do this especially with this smoker once you open it It will take a little bit of time to get back up to temp. This is a uh, what is this? Uh, Old Country Barbecue Pits. It's okay. It's a little better than Oklahoma Joe, but not so much, okay? Um, I'm actually just going to get a custom built for my backyard. Um, these ribs have been on for maybe an hour, almost an hour. These ribs I just put on here. I have my rib racks working so I can get more meat for my, more bang for my buck here for as um, grill space. And that's going to take a while. All right. Um, the reason why I'm not a big fan of this particular cooker, cause man, it burns coals like like really fast, and you do have to rake your ashes throughout the cook, cause ashes will uh, die your fire. So I'm gonna keep an eye on that. But anyway, we rolling, honey. We is rolling. Pit dreams, some more. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 